In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fit, mount and wire a panic button onto your intruder alarm. What a panic button is, is a unit that when it is pressed, it creates an instant alarm, whether the system is set or unset. It is relatively straightforward to fit, so I'll take you through the process now. So this is the unit here, and to begin, just test it's working correctly by pushing the button down and then using the key to reset it, just to make sure it's working correct. Then use the screw to unscrew it, and then we can start putting the back plate onto the wall. Mark the back plate just with a pen or a pencil or something like that and then drill out the holes for which you're then going to put your raw plugs into to mount the device. Tap them in, make sure they're nice and snug and then mount the device onto the wall. Get your cable and notice where the cable entry point is for your device and then cut it to length. Make sure it's going to sit in there fine and reach where you need it to. The terminals on the right that I'm pointing to now are the alarm terminals. So you'll have a blue and a yellow that go into either side of that. When the system is pressed and the device is pressed, it'll trigger the alarm. Down there is a butterfly contact that if you have a tamper circuit on your system, you'll put one leg across either side of there. In our case being the green and white cable. This means if someone tries to open the device, it will send an alarm. So if you peel back the cable and get that ready, you can then start terminating the cable by just stripping it back and exposing the metal on all four cores that we'll be using. Then unscrew the screw and put the blue into the top one there and do the same with the yellow underneath. We're going to be linking that into the circuit and the alarm shortly. Give yourself a bit more room on the tamper circuit ones and pull it back with some more uh, and, and expose some more metal just so you can wrap it around the screw for when you're tightening up the butterfly, uh, the butterfly unit. Not all tampers look exactly the same on each panic alarm, but the premise is the same and they might have a terminal instead, but the idea is the same and this is how all panic alarms are fitted. Or about 99% of them. Then put the lid back on and screw it up because you've done the work in the panic alarm now. It's time to get ready and go to the control panel and do the work that's required in there to get the system to work correctly. And then after that, we can test it. But you can give it one test, one push, and make sure it's still operating correctly with the key in before you've actually wired anything in just to make sure that it's okay and you haven't blocked anything or blocked the key. Now take the cover off of the control panel and locate your panic alarm cable and do the same thing with the cables. You want to get your blue and yellow, twist them together, your green and white, twist them together and put the spare cores wrapped around the bottom of the cable. Move your backup battery out the way because it just doesn't need to be there for the moment. We'll put that back later. We're going to be putting our blue and yellow cables into zone six. That's the, that's the circuit we're going to be using for this one. You can put it into any number. We'll program it later on after we've done this and wired it all in. So I'll strip them back and once I've stripped them back, I'll put them into the terminals and tighten those terminals up, making sure I've got a secure snug fit. There they go, there's one. And tighten that up. And there's the second one and tighten that up as well. So the circuit for the alarm is now set up for the panic alarm. Now we're moving on to the tamper circuit. So for the tamper circuit, if there's nothing in there already and you are going to use the tamper circuit, you could just put these two legs straight into the tamper circuit to create the loop. If the case is you already have devices in the tamper circuit, you will need to remove one leg that's currently in the tamper circuit and put one of the two cables of your panic alarm into one side. Then get the cable you just took out of the tamper circuit and your other leg of the panic alarm and strip them back and twist them together to add them to the daisy chain of the tamper circuit. Once you've done that, get a piece of chalky block, put it on, tighten that up, and you're good to go on that. Put everything back together, and now it's time to close up the control panel. So that is all done, wired in on the tamper and the alarm circuit. So let's just close up the lid there. The next thing for us to do is to program the panic alarm. Now this is on a Veritas 8 system. So the way we do this is specific to this panel, but if you've got a panel that you're using that you want help with, I'd be happy to. So put the engineer code in, which is 1234 program as default. And we want to be doing something on zone six. So on this panel, we put in one six and currently it's got the number three lit up, but that's not what we want. We want it to be number seven because 
because then it's a panic alarm and it'll know to trigger whether the system is set or it's unset. If it's just on an intruder zone, it will only trigger when the system's set. So put that to number seven, which is specific PA, press program, and then press reset. Now the next point is for us to test it. We press it down, and although there isn't audio on this, I promise you it did work. Um, once you've done that, you're gonna go back to the panel pop your user code in just to cancel it and you'll see there that zone six is flashing because that's been on. So we know the panic alarm has worked, it's triggered the sounders, we're all good. In order to reset that device, we go back to the unit, turn the key and that resets the device, but you still need to reset the control panel. So press the reset on the control panel and you're all good to go. And that is how you fit a panic alarm onto your intruder alarm system. Hope this was clear enough for you guys. If you want any extra help with it, I'd be happy to. Just let me know in the comments and I'll run through it for you. If also you're looking to upgrade your existing alarm system to something newer, smarter on the app and things like that, I do have my own security system called the Godfather Security System that I'll leave a link for in the description, which you can take a look at if you just want to take control of your own security and have it all app-based. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.